The other thing that we've talked about, another reason why it's really important to buy, uh, you know, there were a lot of changes to conventional loans this week in reference to how the, the you know, the, the investors are looking at, you know, short sales and foreclosures. Right. I mean, we've had a couple of changes. They actually went into effect yesterday. So uh, on short sales, uh, it used to be if you had, uh, you had to wait two years and put 20% down, uh, one of the agencies, they've changed that. It is now four years. Uh, that you're going to have to wait. Now, the good news, though, is you, if you're past four years, you can you can put 5% down. You used to have to have 10%. So there's kind of took two years away from us, but they gave us a, you know, a little bit a little less bit. down payment. So that, that was a, a positive so, and a negative. And so ultimately, someone that has had a short sale between two and four years ago still has an option, but, but those are the, the, that's the type of folks that we need to say, hey, look, you need to go buy a home now. Because that could change. Because right now you can qualify if they go, you know, and, and they're placed with the right investor, um, you know, they can qualify for a mortgage. But if one of the if one of the big boys kind of took that off the table, there's a chance that it goes to all of them. And and it, so if you're someone out there that had a short sale a couple of years ago, if you're thinking about buying a home, and you wait six months, not only is it, are you going to pay more price, you know, and the rates could rise, but you may not be able to qualify because of, of new cha new guideline changes. Right, and I mean, that's the thing, the one agency made the change, the other hasn't, but, you know, one typically follows the other. When they're going to do that, you know, there's no telling, but, yeah, if you're less than four years on a short sale and you want to get back into that housing market, now is the time to move. Don't wait. So you're listening to the Duncan Duo Real Estate Show here at 970 WFLA. We're going to continue the conversation. We're also going to talk about, um, you know, in a little later in the show, banks lending a record number of million-dollar mortgages, what we're seeing in the jumbo uh, market, as well as, like I mentioned when I was talking about the statistics, first-time homebuyers stuck as entry-level homes are drying up.